first pitch, and the wind is blowing out to dead center. We've had a whole bunch of home runs hit here already. We'll see if that happens again tonight. And as Austin Wade steps in, and the first pitch, a fastball at 92, in there for a strike. The right fielder, a junior out of Midlands, Texas. As you see the flags blowing dead central. 28 multi-hit games in his career. One rides high. And a different thing about this game than all the others that have started at this time. Forget about the shadows. Right now there's a lot of cloud cover. Beautiful day to hit the baseball. 332, five homers on the season. Swings through that one at 93. So three pitches, three fastballs. Cal, I love when you say the stuff is real. <coughs> that stuff right there, yeah. that 93 up in the zone, that was action. It explodes. I mean, it, it's... And they've seen him as high as 95, 96 this year. But wait till you see the change up. That one works, too. Sure does. Threw it down, and it was a called strike out for Austin Wade. He'll head back and try to give a bit of a scouting report to Zach Humphreys as he walks by him. Scouting report is I saw four pitches. There are pretty good <laughs> fastballs. And the last one was a two-seamer at the knees. It was moving away. Um, that will be the key tonight, though, for Coar. If the fastball command is there because the stuff is so good, he can stream through seven or eight innings. Steve Mattingly will call balls and strikes for us tonight. And now Zach Humphreys, the designated hitter, the freshman. Strike one. Anything that uh, Coar could take from either Fiedo or Singer? Their slider. <laughs> that would help, but I don't know if he could pull that off. How about experience-wise? Um, okay. Um, <laughs> I think if you look at the way those guys went around... Good break them all tonight, too, for Koa. If, if you look at the way those guys went about it, they filled up the strike zone, and they allowed their stuff to dominate. The problem is if you're 102-1, the fastball straightens out. It goes over the middle of the plate. But those guys got ahead. They then could expand the strike zone. He could do the same thing. There's a change. You've seen everything in this at bat. First pitch fastball, 92. Breaking ball, he stole a strike, and then tried to get a swing and miss on an 0-2 changeup. Humphreys one for nine at the College World Series. It's righties a lot better than he does lefties. That's on the corner and two up, two down. And this is a scary part. As a hitter, you see the fastball and then you see this, the curveball. Nasty, starting at the top of the zone and just breaking and hitting the corner. That's a tough pitch to even make an adjustment on when you really haven't seen it. Now go back to the dugout and tell your teammates about that one. They've been talking amongst themselves and to themselves. The top three in the order, including this guy, Evan Skaug, now three for 32 with 15 strikeouts. Three for 32. There's some movement on that two-seam fastball away from the lefty. He has been pounding the strike zone. You know when you think a lot at the plate, balls now, the fastball starts getting by you. It seems like he's late all the time. And this dude can turn a fastball around when it's going right. He went through a period like this at the beginning of the season. Scout's first three or four weeks were not great. Did not swing about well at all. Then was on fire for about six to eight weeks. He has not looked comfortable here. There's a change. Since there with 20 home runs on the season. He's going to see that one again right here. Now looking to strike out the side and do it in 12 pitches if it happens here. It did. How about that start? Jackson Coar, 12 and 0. 76 strikeouts on the season after picking up three at the top of the first. <laughs> 